Hey everyone, so I got some pretty big life news update that I want to share with you guys. Well, based off of the title, you can already tell what it is. I'll be quitting, or at least by the time you watch this video, I would have already quit my job as an environmental engineer for the US Air Force. Don't worry though, I do have a backup plan of course. I'll be moving to a different position as a water resource control engineer, working for the state of California at the Water Quality Control Board. All that to say, I'll still be working in the environmental sector, I just won't have the official title as an environmental engineer anymore. I say that, and I'm going to emphasize, just because I don't have the official title as an environmental engineer doesn't mean that I'm not doing anything to help the environment, and that works for you too. Just because you don't have like an official environmental title doesn't mean that you can't help the overall bigger picture. It doesn't matter about the title, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Let your actions speak louder than your words or your status. Anyway, so throughout the rest of this video, You'll just be following along as I like pack up my stuff at my old job while I explain why I'm quitting that job. Oh, while well, there's like still a possible recession upcoming and you know when there's like some potential for layoffs in the future. This was like a scary move for me but I'm you know, taking that leap of faith and hoping that I can grow with this new job position. So the rest of this video will just be voicing over you know some videos I took on my last day of my job. Alright, so the first reason is that there are better opportunities for growth. At some point in my career, I feel like I've learned all I could. There's not much new activities I can learn or do. The work is predictable. I know what I'll be doing every week or month. Yes, there are some random pop-up surprises, but I can't say I'm not prepared for it. I like the stimulation you get when you're put into a new environment and have to troubleshoot or adapt your way into getting yourself out of it. And with this new job, I'll definitely be learning a lot in the first few months there. Also, my current job didn't require me to be a licensed professional engineer. At this new job, I am incentivized, if not required, to become a professional engineer. I've been putting off taking that PE test because I didn't really see a need for it for my current job, but now that I'm forced to, you may see me become licensed and hopefully you can follow my journey towards professional licensing if you're interested. The second reason is that there is better pay. Now if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not shy in sharing my salary. And if my job is watching this right now, I believe I have the right to say how much I'm getting paid. People like transparency and I don't think that it's fair to hide it. I think people should be compensated for the value and everyone should know how much they are valued so they can gauge whether or not they're actually being fairly compensated. If you're watching this and you believe that you aren't getting paid at your full value, then you're being exploited. Don't let the company tell you how much you're worth, otherwise they will always lowball you and pay you less than you actually deserve. So right now, as of July 2022, I'm currently making 85000 at my current job as an environmental engineer at the Air Force. My new job will pay me 99000 so if you do the math, that's a 16% increase to my salary. So yeah, definitely I'm taking that pay bump, factor in the current times of inflation and it will definitely be worth it. The third reason is that, well, I'm still young. I'm currently 28 at the time of this recording. I made a video a while back analyzing how much longer it would take at my current pay of 85,000 to make 100,000 a year if my current job only increases like two to 3% to keep up with inflation. That would take me about six more years compared to annually. So I'd be like 34 by the time I make 100,000 at my current job. But with this new job, I'd skip those six years and practically make that same amount at the current age of 28. So if this offends anyone, whether you're making more or less than that, I'm just here to tell you my numbers. I'm not trying to show off or anything, I'm just saying the truth. But aside from pay, I mean it's healthy for me to be ambitious and want to keep learning. I don't want to be stuck at one job for the rest of my life. I already know the usual tasks at my job, I don't feel like I'm easing my brain anymore. Being too comfortable is what stops people from growing. I also don't believe in company loyalty. I think it's a horrible thing in the long run. The fact that my current company is already compensating me less than this new job means that they don't see my value or want to pay me more to stop me from leaving. You know, why stay loyal to a company while I'm this young when I have the opportunity to grow more? I'll be ruining my future all in the name of company loyalty. The fourth reason is that I'm going to be pursuing what I actually learned in school. So all throughout graduate school, I learned about wastewater and water quality. At my current job, I'm doing compliance in a broad spectrum of environmental categories ranging from like hazardous waste, hazardous materials, solid waste, recycling, storage tanks, and NEPA. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that I learned a lot at my job and I've been exposed to this type of field, but you know, it's time for me to move on and learn something new and actually use what I learned. Otherwise, I'd wasted like two years of my life in school. And that may be the case for some students out there not using what they learned in school, 
but I want to make sure that what I spent was a good investment. So I'll be transitioning from compliance to water quality regulations and industrial permitting. Still involves paperwork, I guarantee that, but at least I'd be somewhat more familiar with it. And lastly, this is probably the biggest thing, is that I'll be leaving toxic coworkers and a bad workplace. So yes, there will always be those types of people at work. Even at my new job, I'm pretty sure I'll have some people that I don't get along with. But if I know that I'm currently in a situation, why would I want to deal with it for much longer? I know I'll have to go in every day and see people I don't get along with at my current job. If I'm lucky, I may not encounter toxic people at my new job, but you know, that's probably a rare case. I don't know. I can't predict the future, but at least I have some uncertainty in that aspect. While I have a 100% guarantee of a miserable work life had I stayed at my old job. Also, when I told my old company I was leaving, they didn't even stop me or ask why or try to negotiate with me to stay. I just said, okay, bye. So why should I have company loyalty if they don't even care about their employees? And you know, to make a long story short, I told one of my friends about my company opening up a position. It turns out that one of my friends, he got it and they offered him more than what I was currently making, you know, making 85,000. And he doesn't even have that much experience. So in the end, I'm bitter. Not to my friend, but the fact that my company continued to exploit me, underpay me, and did nothing when I told them I'd leave. So yeah, in the end, I'm pretty glad that I'm jumping and transitioning to a new position because of all these points. And really, those are the reasons why I'm leaving this current position. It's unfortunate I'll be leaving a comfortable and well-respected position at the Air Force, but you know, progress can never happen when comfort and no change is in the equation. This is a pretty bold move for me, but I hope that this inspires you also to take the leap of faith in some of your life decisions. So that's all I have for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys keep watching me still. I know this is no longer about environmental engineering anymore, but I still do care about the environment. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave some comments down below and I'll get to it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.